Hey everybody, Frank Finance here. Another day's gone by and we couldn't get through it without more bad news on DD Global. Let's talk about it. This news came out near market open and from yesterday to today, there was about 11% drop in the stock price, 11.23%. And it's even down after market to $10.19 per share from its IPO of $14. So what caused the latest slide in DD's stock price? Well, today there was a report by Bloomberg that came out and said Beijing is considering harsh penalties from a massive fine to even a forced delisting after DD's IPO last month. Now, the fine is rumored to be likely bigger than the record $2.8 billion that was levied on Alibaba earlier this year. In addition to a fine, the penalties could also include suspension of certain operations, delisting, or withdrawal of Didi's U.S. shares from the New York Stock Exchange, says people familiar with the matter. As of making this video, there's no additional information on Didi's investor relations page from news events. Now, today's news of a potential fine, delisting, and ceasing of certain operations builds upon really bad news that we already knew about Didi, which was their app was removed to the store as well as another 25 apps that were underneath their total business profile. Now, this is really concerning information. Just the app removal on its own is going to cause some market share erosion and DD gets to enjoy about 90% market share currently. However, if they also levy this fine, cease operations in certain areas, what that means so ambiguous it could mean a uh, you know very small thing could be their whole ride hailing app i have no idea what that means but what we can do is kind of take some lessons learned from alibaba that got hit with that 2.8 billion dollar fine earlier this year right before they got hit with that fine there was this news leak the source leaked out information that a fine was coming now ike was a little hesitant to believe you know anonymous news sources but in this case, when it's coming out of China, this could be very well be really good information and it could honestly be true. Um, you know, who, who knows? So all I'm trying to say with that is they could cease operations at a large extent. They could do it at a, at a very small extent. But when it comes to the fine, I'm almost guaranteeing at this point that they're, they're going to get fined something. Is it going to be bigger than Alibaba's? Maybe. Can they afford it? Yeah. If it's, you know, it's in $3 billion, or, or whatever, they have they have cash flow to afford it. Are they net income positive? No. So this is definitely concerning. Um, you know, I've gone over my stock analysis on DD that we really want to get to net income positive within the next three years. Um, and, and honestly, all this is making it harder. The erosion in market share because of the D list, you know, taking them um, off the app store, terrible for their business model, introduces new competitors. The temporary fine, it's going to make their financials look bad. Even if even if everything self-corrects, or not even self-corrects, but you know, some of the regulators back off of them, they're able to, you know, get back on the app store, there's going to be some some erosion that's already occurred in the short amount of time that they've been taken off the app store. The fine doesn't help. Um, you know, anytime you do this, it's gonna it's it's a short-term um, capital um, extraction. But it still doesn't help shareholders who currently own them. So looking at DD's stock price history over the last three weeks, they IPO'd around $14. The next day, they jumped into the $16 range. If you bought in at that date and were sitting at today's prices, you would have had a near 37% loss on DD, which is quite substantial. If you got in at the IPO, um, you're down about 27, 28% uh, there. And um, if you got in after the news and around of the 11 or the 12, let's say the $12 range, you're down about 15%. All those pretty, pretty big losses, especially that 40%, pretty big losses there. I, I do believe there becomes a point at which DD becomes a buy here. However, we the operational concerns on this are the, the things that honestly just make me feel uneasy about this. So what am I doing with this news? Well, today I went ahead and added about 50% to my existing position. Uh, my last position, my cost basis on that was $11.60. Um, the 50% I added onto this position was bought around 
$10.40. Um, and I'll probably consider purchasing another lot if it drops down into the nine and a half dollar range, if it gets there. Um, I think I feel comfortable with that. There does become a point at which I don't feel comfortable purchasing any more DD. However, I still do believe that they do have some long term um, upside here. So we'll just keep monitoring that and keep creating videos and letting you know more as we find out more about DD and as things come up. So hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Frank, Frank Finance, out.